Hi, second grade owls at home. It's Miss Webb, your music teacher. I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday with your family. I want you to meet my friend, Andrew. Okay, I'm gonna turn him around, here we go. You see Andrew there? Okay, at the end of each line where there's a period or a question mark or an exclamation point, I want you guys to make the pogo stick sound that traces that orange loop. Boing, boing, boing. Think you can do it? I know you can. Andrew got a pogo stick. Boing, boing, boing. He could really do that trick. Boing, boing, boing. Up to 50, did it quick. Boing, boing, boing. How about my arithmetic? Boing, boing, boing. Onward still, the numbers tick. Boing, boing, boing. At this task, he ain't no hick. Boing, boing, boing. 80, 90, this is slick. Boing, boing, boing. Andrew and his pogo stick. Boing, boing, boing. That was fun. Hey, let's count to 100 by 10s. Are you ready? Let's do it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You did it. When I was a kid, I used to love to do the pogo stick. It was kind of hard, but once you figured it out, it was a blast. So I want to teach you guys a new song too today. It's called Love Somebody. And I know what you're thinking. Ew, it's about love. Well, it can be about love for your pet, love for your sister or brother or your cousin. It can be about love for your favorite stuffed animal or anybody. So here's how the song goes. It goes, love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes it's true. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, but I won't tell who. Okay, so the part that goes, love somebody, yes I do. We're gonna call that A. The next part goes, love somebody, yes it's true. Does that sound different or pretty much the same? Yeah, it's the same. So we're going to put an A as its nickname. Love somebody, yes I do. What do you think? An A or is different and we put a B? Yeah, I think an A. And then at the end, love somebody but I won't tell who. Does that sound the same or different? Yeah, it's different, so we'll call it B. So in that B section, there's a place that really speeds up. Is it the part that goes, but I won't tell who? Or is it the part that goes, love somebody but I? Yeah, it's the second one. So let's write it out using our TTs and TAs. Love somebody, yes I do. Love some, that's a TT, so we'll write that. And then, body, my chin went down twice, so it's another TT. See what we have so far? Yes, I, and what about do? Do, yep, I heard a ta also. And we already said that the rhythm was the same. It sounds the same, so we can just copy it, okay? Love somebody, yes, it's true. Love somebody, yes, I do. And then, love somebody, but I won't tell who. Okay, we're gonna work backwards on this to be detectives and figure out what's going on and love somebody. Who is our last beat, so we know that's a ta. The third beat is won't tell. What do you think that is, ta or tt? Yeah, it was tt. So we have the last two. Now we need to do the first two. 
Let's go back to the first beat. Love some. That matches here. Love some. So we'll do a TT. And this beat does not fit the pattern. It goes body, but I. Let's count how many that is. Body, but I. It's four sounds on one little tiny beat. Okay, I'm going to write four sounds. One, two, three, four. Hey, it kind of looks like your birthday cake when you turn four, right? All right, but those aren't going to be ta's because if it were, it would go love some, ba, di, ba, I won't tell who. And it doesn't. It's much faster, right? So in music, sometimes you're going to have a moment or beat where there's four sounds on a beat. So I am going to tell you next week what it's called. But for now, just know that that does happen sometimes in music. It does. All right. Um, for your assignment this week, I am going to write a column of rhythms called Rhythm A and a column of rhythms called Rhythm B. And I'm going to play them, and I want you to tell me which is which. Okay? All right, and you know what? We're just gonna do the first four. So I'm gonna put a cross out here between five, six, and seven. So number one, I'll play each one, let's say, two times. Number one, A or B. Okay, here it is one more time. Okay, number two. Number two. Number three. Number three again. And last one, number four. Here's number four again. I hope you guys have a great week. See you next time. Bye.